unfortunately, couple after couple came forward and said, it's not working. I'm being denied rights. I don't think any of us, any of us should be in a position where we can tell someone who they can love and who they can marry. I think it's wrong, especially in this state. This is about civil rights, and I mean, it's that simple. Tough issues are handled here. That's what you do. That's what you vote. We vote on issues here. We don't put civil rights on a ballot. We deal with them right here as we should. We do not put civil rights questions on the ballot. With all due respect to my colleagues at the other side of the table, a couple of them took a cop out. It's not that they're against same-sex marriage. It's not that they're against civil rights for everyone. It's just, in this issue, let's let the people decide. Well, we're not putting the governor's appointees to the Supreme Court on the ballot. We don't put judges on the ballot. We don't put all the other issues that Senate President Sweeney referred to. <clears throat> this is an issue of justice, an issue of justice for all, an issue of building values, of building family values, of giving children loving homes that are actually recognized throughout the state of New Jersey and indeed throughout the nation. Uh, I'm hoping that when this bill reaches the governor's desk, and it will reach the governor's desk, uh, he reconsiders. And when he vetoes the bill, I understand he's going to veto the bill. He said he's going to veto the bill. So he's going to veto the bill. But when he does that, it's my hope that he would give direction to his Republican colleagues that they should vote their conscience. Because I know that if they vote their conscience, not only will they vote for this bill, but they'll override the governor's veto. Senator Sweeney, would you comment on this uh, veto promise of the governor as to uh, what the point is of, of even going through this exercise? The point of going through a fight for civil rights? Are you kidding me? Okay. For standing up for people to give them the same rights? I'm offended by that. And the governor, you know, you know the governor's the governor. He's got his opinion. But there are many Republicans, because I've spoken to them, that want to vote for this bill. Now, if the governor wants to stifle and silence his, his colleagues, that's one thing. But he's not going to stifle or silence us. Someone has to stand up for equality and fairness. You know, I apologized in the past, but I'm telling you right now, I'm fighting to get this done. And if we have to go for an override, we'll work every angle we possibly have to. But right now, it's about getting it onto his desk. And it's offensive for anyone to think, why bother if the governor doesn't want to do it? Well, guess what? He's wrong on this one. You know, his announcement today was to try to put a, to put a damper on what we're trying to do. It's not happening. We're not walking away. We're not backing down. We're not giving up. The, you know, this is about civil rights, period.